All right, my name is Nefertiti Fem C. Um, I got many aliases, Nefi the Magician, Nefi Raps, a lot of different names, but um, from Baltimore, born and raised. Um, yeah, and I rap. Well, I consider myself really like a lyricist more so than a rapper, but you know, hip hop, straight hip hop. Well, I go by the name of Chase Ultra. Um, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I do a lot of dope hip hop, R&B, soul, alternative. I'm just big into music. I produce music, um, you know, I, from the beat aspect all the way down to, to the lyrics. I'm Chosen Wody, the Chosen Wody. Um, I create happiness and I am from Baltimore, Maryland. What's up? I'm Adriana Love and I am a hip hop artist and I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. It's your boy Lil Charlie, straight out West Baltimore, hood drains the campaign. Go follow it. My name is Average Joe. I inspire when I rap. And I'm from Baltimore, Willow, specifically. Uh, hip hop, that's, that's life right there. Like, I don't know where I would be without hip hop. That's, it got me through some hard times. And really how I got started into hip hop was just going through a really rough time and then just started writing. And for real, I'm gonna be honest, hip hop, like listening to music really saved my life for real. So it's just something so powerful. Culture of hip hop invokes spirit. It's like, you know how when you listen to some gospel music, it gets you going, you catch the Holy Spirit. Hip hop gives me more of a rush. I wouldn't call it the Holy Spirit, I would call it holy raps or something, you know what I mean? It gives me, it invokes spirit, it gets me going. It, like, you can listen to it getting ready to go to work, you know, getting off work, going through a breakup, you know, uh, you're gonna go beat the guy up down the street, you know, I'm gonna listen to some Eminem, I'm gonna kill this guy, you know? So, it's the passion and the emotion that you get listening to it. It's forever changing. It keeps evolving. Um, the sound just, it gets bigger and it influences everything around it. Man, I love the, the um, I have to say the truth about hip hop and how hip hop as a culture really shapes the country that we live in. Like hip hop is huge. I mean, um, every race, every ethnicity, everybody gets down with hip hop. I like telling stories, so that's why I like um, real life stories. People telling what they doing, what they see, what's happening around them. Um, the culture as a whole, man, um, just the feel of it, you know, because it was introduced to me when I was a kid, so I, I just felt like it was the coolest thing in the world. You know, I still feel like that to the day, plus I feel like it's something, you know, me being black, it's something that's like a part of the black culture, you know, so I, it, it's just, it got somewhat of a youthfulness to it, you know, and it's just something that I, I can't even explain, I'm just attracted to it. When I was first growing up, I couldn't even listen to hip hop. Like my grandmother, she was a church woman, so I I remember some LL Cool J came on. She was like, "Nah, turn that off." Like I was in I was in church singing hymns, right? <laughs> you know, I was on the choir. But when I when I looked over my life, I kind of realized like everything happened for a reason. Because when I was with her, like I was I was on the choir, so I learned how to sing, you know, and I understood what it was like to sing in front of a bunch of people, you know, and and. You know, from that, you know, and her keeping me away from it, that made me want to go to it more. I was trying to understand, like, what was she trying to hide from me? I don't know. I guess just growing up watching it on TV, 106 and Park and all that other good stuff. That's how I was originally introduced to hip hop. I just, I, it made me want to write. And ever since I was little, I just started writing in my notepad, writing different songs. And I never really took it seriously until, like, like I said, I was going through that rough time. but. That's just how it came into my life for real. It just kind of pulled me in. Well, I always listened to it, you know, since I was little, but I never thought like I'd really be rapping how I am today. Me and my cousin, we all uh, started like in a, in a closet, and just rapping on a computer when we was little. They like, freestyle, lot of dumb, easy. Um, my dad was a big hip hop head. My dad used to DJ around the city. He used to DJ at Shake and Bake, so he had all the vinyls and, um, he had 
really thanks to him, um, I was introduced to one of my favorite rappers, which is Nas. He had all the Nas albums. So I would go go downstairs in the basement, listen to all of the albums my dad had. So yeah, he, he really played an a, a important part in um, exposing me to hip hop. And then it was a rap. It was a rap after that. I was young. I was young and I, I, I stayed with my grandmother like every so often, like on the weekends. And um, it was a Sunday. And Sundays, you feel me, like before, you know, everybody wake up and everything get started. She be downstairs watching the little, uh, the, what was his name, uh, Bobby Jones, Gospel Hour. But then right after that, on BET, like, hip hop would come on. Like, I don't know, all the hard stuff, like Jay-Z, everything. And my uncle would just, we'd just be sitting down there just, just listening. I was like, yo, I love this stuff. Like, I, ever since, I don't know, ever since then it was just music.